Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY pin cushion that you can put on your wrist. This video is going to be in real time, so you can follow along if you like. Hi, voiceover Sam here. So this turned out to be 40 minutes long when I actually finished. Instead of being in real time, I'm just going to edit it like a normal tutorial. Bottom line, you're going to get more voiceover and less of me trying to figure out how to fill the time with my stream of consciousness chatter. Which, let's be honest, probably isn't a bad thing. So you're welcome. First, I'm going to show you the materials and tools you'll need for this project. You'll need a 9 inch diameter circle of fabric. I like buying these little bundles from craft stores for things like this. You'll need some embroidery thread. I'm using black to give a little contrast so you guys can see what I'm doing, but you can get a matching color to your fabric. You need elastic. <laughs> Thank you. You need some sort of elastic. I found this really cute elastic at Hobby Lobby. Thank you. You'll need some felt for the bottom of our pin cushion. You can get a solid color or you can get a fun print. The print felt is a little stiffer than the solid color, so just keep that in mind if you decide to do that. And of course, you'll need stuffing. This is just pillow fill from a craft store. You can also use dog toy stuffing if your dogs eviscerate toys like mine do. For tools, you'll of course need some scissors and a needle and some sewing pins. You'll also need something to trace. I'm using this nine inch bowl. You'll need a smaller circle to trace. For the felt, I'm using the lid to a soap tin. You'll need something to trace with. Marker, pen, fabric marker, whatever you wanna use. And a thimble can be really helpful so you don't hurt your fingers. And of course, a handy craft helper. To start, we're going to cut out a circle from our fabric. Circles suck, so find something to trace. It doesn't matter which side of the fabric or what you use to trace because we won't see the edge of this in the finished piece. Now cut it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, just avoid cutting yourself. Now we're going to stitch around the outside edge of the fabric. Cut about 18 inches of embroidery thread, thread your needle, and knot the free end of the thread. I'm using black just to provide some contrast so you guys can see what I'm doing, but feel free to pick a thread that matches your fabric. Use a big running stitch and stitch along the entire outside edge, about a half centimeter from the edge of the fabric. Your stitch length should be about a half a centimeter as well. Once you get back to where you started, don't tie off your thread yet. Just let it loose. Flip over your circle so that you have the wrong side up. If your fabric doesn't have a wrong side, well, you made a smarter choice than I did. Actually, this is better for visually seeing what I'm doing. Yeah, let's go with that. So now pull on the end of your thread still attached to your needle and allow the fabric to bunch up. You'll see that this is going to create a little pocket where the stuffing will go. Don't tighten it all the way just yet. Leave a small hole and begin stuffing it. This pin cushion design is intended to be worn on the wrist, but if you want one for the tabletop, you can add stones or washers to the inside to help weigh it down. Just keep them near the part where you've bunched up the fabric so they don't interfere with you putting pins into the actual pin cushion. Once it is filled to your liking, tighten it all the way and tie off the thread. Get it as tight as you possibly can. 
Now we're gonna add the elastic. Measure and cut a strip of elastic one inch longer than the diameter of your wrist. Here we have a classic example of Sam working harder, not smarter. Just measure your wrist and then measure the elastic on a flat surface. Trust me, it's way easier. Pin it in a loop so the ends overlap one centimeter, which is about a third of an inch. Then you're going to stitch the ends together. Here's where a thimble comes in handy. Elastic is thick and a thimble can help you push the needle through. Also be careful where you put your fingers. I stabbed myself several times during this process. Position your loop so the elastic seam is on the bottom of the pin cushion where you bunched it all together. Flatten it with your fingers a bit and secure it to the pin cushion on either end. It helps to pin it first and then sew it, obviously. It doesn't need to look nice because it will be under the felt. I used a combination of running and whip stitches to do this. Whatever gets the job done. Now cut out a circle of felt. I'm using a two millimeter thick piece of felt and an item that's about two and a half inches across. If you have felt with a pattern, do this on the wrong side of the felt so your marks don't show on the finished piece. Slide your felt circle into your elastic loop so it covers the bottom of the cushion and the ends of the elastic. Secure that in place with some pins before you start sewing. Whip stitch around the edge of the felt, securing it to the cushion. I did running stitches through the elastic when I got to it, and then went back to whip stitches on the other side. Real quick, while I have you here, this was supposed to be in real time and didn't go like I planned obviously. However, I still think it's a fun idea, so let me know in the comments if you want crafts you can do along with the video, or if you might like live streams of that sort of thing as well. Something where you can work alongside me and do what I'm doing as I'm doing it. You know what I mean? Let me know if that's something you guys would be interested in. Okay, back to it. Once you get all the way around, tie it off, snip your threads, and yay, we're done. Now you have a pin cushion that you can wear on your wrist. So you can pin anytime, anywhere. I hope you enjoyed making this craft with me and let me know in the comments below if there's any other craft you would like to see as always, subscribe, hit the like button, you know the drill, and happy sewing! Oh, I have right. Okay, make it, make a decision, ma'am. Oh, yeah, it's the lap. Careful, that's sharp. Before we start, I'm going to go over the list of materials that you'll need and the tools that you're going to want to use. Oh, Ivory, just be cute, then it doesn't matter what I say. Okay. 